It is morning here in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. Yeah, this which is we just never a say. Bit. We never say where we're from anymore. Actually, I get tons of people messaging us. Where are your show notes? Do you have show notes? Do I'm going to put that information right here. Mm -hmm. We always do show notes, and by we, I mean me. And I don't love it, so go look at them because <laughs> <laughs> she's quite proud of them. I make links for you. But anyway, hello everybody! It is the last day of August. Which, in my mind, is sort of like almost the end of I'm summer. actually looking forward um, to back to school. I just started I feeling that. You. I just started feeling that. Um, I'm just going to do a little... Perfect. Yeah, because you weren't in there enough. Okay. There. That's a little bit better. I forgot Perfect. my coffee. I'll be right back. Um, yeah, so um, we've had a great summer. We've been busy. We've done tons of stuff. Um, but now I, f and I feel like my kids feel it. Like they want to be away from me. Totally. Every, everything comes to an end, right? I mean, it was great while it yeah. lasted, but you can't have it forever. Yeah. Everyone's getting a little snippy, right? Snippy? Yeah. Snooty? Snooty. This is a, isn't right yet. <laughs> okay. That looks better. There we go. I think this is like our first time doing this. Hi, vey. So you're um, tired. You're tired. You're ready for... Although, the nice thing about summer is no routine. I'm ready for my kids to go to back to school and me go back to bed and just do whatever I want oh, for those six and great. a half hours. I want one of those days. Yeah. And one of those days will be next week. Yeah. 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 Yeah, anyway, absolutely. When you work I need from one home, of those days. When you work from home, you're kind of always at work. Yeah. So it's night. You've got to make sure you carve out that time yeah one day yeah. to knit and do whatever I want yeah I might take two naps right yeah, yeah. anyway so um everyone's ex everyone's organized we're ready Maddie has been ready for three weeks she wanted to go back to school but it's good my daughter Georgia is starting college is she excited or nervous both well super nervous she's yeah. a nervous she was always nervous before the first day of school yeah uh, but this is a new school, obviously, and but she's thrilled with the courses she chose. They're all history-based, history and English, not a math in sight. So she's really excited about it. But you know, everybody's kind of nervous. We don't know what to expect. Yeah, she'll be great. She will be. But it's all it always... a whole settling into a whole new everything, new routine, yeah. right? Yeah. But it's crazy that that's it. Like my kids are Ozzy snoring, freaking adults. Ozzy. Ozzy's watching our podcast right now. He's on the couch over we there. We put him to sleep. I can only see a foot. There's a pillow mountain, and he's buried himself in it. That's so funny. So it's been two weeks since we've seen you guys. <clears throat> it's been a two busy week. two weeks. Two weeks since our last confession. Two weeks since our last yarn confession. Guess what? I have not received one yarn in the mail. Does that mean you haven't bought any yarn? Yes. You've not bought one ball of yarn? Not one ball. Oh! I knew it! I did buy that Let's Eat Cake for Breakfast colorway. It's just, it's coming. But right. it's, a, it's on a schedule, right? But I think so, you bought that before the last podcast. Like before, I actually think, I, oh, I did. So you know what I mean? Two weeks, so nothing. That doesn't technically count. Yeah. Um, no, I cannot say the same. Okay. But um, I don't have any of it yet, but I'll show you. It's going it's... <laughs> it was... I'm not shaming. I just, it's crazy that I didn't have one coming yeah, in the mail. No, there was. And actually, I'm sitting here going, what exactly was that again? I know I bought something, but it's That's coming. So funny. I just, uh, I don't Guess know. Guess what happened to me yesterday? I don't know. I was sitting outside knitting, and I felt a plunk, and I screamed and got up. A bird had dropped a half-eaten mouse on my arm. Oh my god. What do you even say to that? So I go inside. I'm rubbing my arm. Maddie is inside looking out. My dog has now got it in, her, in the mouth <laughs> with the tail sticking out of its mouth. And her gag reflex is very sensitive. So she's standing in the kitchen gagging while I'm trying to sanitize my arm. That is a dis well, and I would think that the end of the world was coming. Dead animals are falling from the sky. It it was it's like a bad horror movie. It was revolting. That is disgusting. Yeah, and that's pretty rare. Like I, I don't know that I've heard of other people like that. I've uh, had bird poop almost on me before, but not that. It's supposed to be good luck. Below. And the only people who ever said that the guy that got shit on the that head. is totally wrong. Right? Disgusting. Okay, I want to show you my new mug. What? Yes. Those are sweaters. 
What? Yes, that's amazing. Just when you think Natalie at Remembrance's Pottery can't top herself, she does. Yeah. So this is her new sweater mug. I think this is her fall release. This is her new design for, yeah. Yeah. So you'll see that in her shop intermittently. And I think she's at some. She's um, at Woodstock. Knitters Fist Festivals no. and stuff. Is it the, is she at the Kitchener Waterloo one? It's pretty local to I her. I don't know. Anyway. Go to Natalie's shop or follow her on Instagram. She's on Etsy as Remembrance's Pottery. I'm oh gosh. I'm drinking out of her Mother's Day special. Yeah. Little yarn balls and flowers. Like, I, I, there's no way to even pick a favorite. No, I know. It's like, I could love them all. I agree. A, 11 out of 10. Yeah. They're amazing. Yeah, I agree. So, and they're such a treat to drink out of. I said... Uh, everything tastes better out of them. And it's so true. Like, it's a whole other level of enjoying what you're drinking when the mug is like this. The handle is just perfect. I agree. I love them. I use it every day. I love them. Yeah. Okay, so... So, I thought I had Lyme disease. Oh, you did. You might have. It's gone now. Jody thought it was flesh-eating disease, but it was just a weird-looking bite. And it freaked me out. I went to my doctor. It was. There was a little center and bright red, like the size of a nickel. Yeah. And so I've never had a bite like that. So, of course, what do I do? I do what Jody always does. And I tell her, don't do that. I Googled it because I thought it was a tick bite. So I Googled tick bite image. And, yeah, sure enough, it looked exactly like that. But I, I said, don't think it was. Is the tick still in it? Yeah. So I'm imagining a bug, like, burrowing which apparently it can do, right? That's yeah, that's why there's a certain way to get out a tick from your skin. Because you don't want to leave part of it in there. And my doctor wanted to know if I was out camping recently. <laughs> she clearly doesn't know <laughs> Yeah, no. Uh, anyway, I'm on some kind of cream and I feel like I'm on the mend and things Is are Is it not good. as red? No, it's not as red. It's super red. I know. Yeah. I know. <laughs> and you, I sort of tell you for a little bit of support. You know, I thought I think you're going to be here. Oh no, I'm sure it's nothing. Don't worry about it. Jody's like, is the tick still in there? Flesh eating disease. <laughs> There's something living in it. Oh my gosh. Anyway, so anyway, that was all good. We're all good that way, but we do have something else we wanted to show. Yes. Right? So yeah. long, long time ago, we had 7,000 subscribers on YouTube, which is ridiculous. Yeah. I mean, we never thought we would get. And Jody said, if we hit 10,000 subscribers, we'll get tattoos. And Tracy felt very confident that would not happen. Oh, for sure. And I mean, I've never really wanted, I've never yearned for a tattoo. I never knew what I wanted. And I just thought, well, that's okay. I'm going to agree to that because it'll never happen. And it happened months ago, really. Yeah. So we've been thinking and plotting, plotting and planning and calendar wise, we're trying to work it out. And I made a phone call and we got in and like, three or four days yeah. for something weird. Somebody canceled. This amazing artist had a spot. It was really the perfect situation. Yeah. So we went and got it done. Tracy will insert some fun little. Yeah. I'll put some pictures here. I'll make a little video of our funny faces and um, a time lapse of the actual tattoo happening. I have to say, I wasn't even really that nervous. Here it is. It says grocery girls. We have the same font. I'll take a picture of us later and put it in properly. Yeah. I love the font that we chose, but it says Mine's grocery really girls. really big. I love it. Yeah. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I actually love it. I see it out of the corner of my eye and I think, oh my God, I have a tattoo I and I really, really love it. So whether we have a podcast or not, we are grocery girls always. That was our first. Yeah. Yeah. So our family business of over 50 years, our parents have a grocery store and it's where we work and it's where we've been raised. And so we're grocery girls first, first and always. Yeah. So um, it was super fun to get. I have to say, I really love it. Yeah. But it, it, and it didn't hurt for me as much as this little teeny one here. Cause I have a little circle. My daughter has the X, I have the O, but this was much more comfortable. Tracy's oh when God. she placed hers, I'm thinking, so, Holy cow, that's going to hurt. Well, and I've never had a tattoo before, but that's just the where I wanted it. I just thought that's where I want it. Um, and that's the first question people ask. Did it hurt? Yes, it hurts. Yeah. Like, if somebody says, oh, it doesn't really hurt, they're just kind of sloughing it off because they love the tattoo so much. Yes, it hurts to get a tattoo to some level. Yeah. But this hurt like a bitch. Can I just say that? Yes. And my Mine son was... has a whole sleeve, and so he's like, well, did it hurt? What did it feel like? I said, um... 
like a scalpel being burned into my, like cutting words into my head. And of course he thought that was dramatic and, and not nearly accurate, but um, yes, that was it, accurate. it hurt like that. It felt like a razory kind of, right? Yeah. But she was really quick and really amazing. And we'll put the name of the tattoo shop in our show notes. They are here in Edmonton and really, really, really good. We would yeah. definitely recommend going. Yeah, oh yeah, I would, wouldn't hesitate. Yeah, so I don't know, it was pretty fun. I don't. I mean, I don't really think of it as a knitting tattoo, but it sort of is, but. Yeah, I do too, I agree. It's I think it's got that double for meaning us. for us. Mm. Yeah, maybe we need to get yarn balls. Yeah. Big yarn balls. <laughs> Um, okay, so that was it. That was our tattoo. That was our, that's what we've been doing for the last two weeks. I've been knitting, knitting, actually. Did knitting. you finish your pink sweater? Uh, I've started another, no. Yes, uh, no, but I've, I've made significant progress. You cast on another? No, but oh. I, I want to, but I, yeah. I'm not going to, I don't think at this point. But I, yeah, I'll show you my sweater because I've made a lot of progress. And this weekend is really wide open for me. If I focus, if I don't get distracted with other things, yeah. I think I could finish it this weekend. You could. So I think I'm I, gonna finish mine. I think I might. Yeah. I think I might. So should we talk some knitting? Let's talk knitting. Okay. How about work finished objects? No. I have one. Okay. And it's really it was very last minute. It was for it, this is for a birthday gift. Have you given them? No. Oh. The birthday was on Monday and Sunday afternoon I thought, oh, you know, that's what you do when you're a knitter. You knit somebody that you like something. Um and so I thought, I'm going to knit her a pair of gloves or mittens. Mm -hmm. And one of my favorite patterns is the Antler Mitten by Tin Can Knits. And so that's what they look like. Tracy. Jody. Right? Oh my gosh, what a beautiful pattern. It's just the speediest pattern. Oh and God, the it's so... you memorize the cable pattern instantly. Like they really zip along. I'm knitting these. It's got a long, see the ribbing is only that much. But then the, the cable pattern also, there's two cable repeats before you start your thumb gusset. So it's a long cuff. You need that in our weather. You need it to tuck in. I think they're going to be super warm. And oh don't you love gosh. the yarn? It's well, a I've tonal used this, gray. I've used this yarn before and told you how crazy I was yeah. about it. So this is what the yarn looks like. Oh, gosh, and I love this yarn. It's it's our, it's our yarn by Cloudborn, which is a Craftsy exclusive. Yeah. You can only get this in Craftsy. It's a very springy, tightly twisted Peruvian wool. And this is their bulky. This is called the Wool Bulky Natural Kettle Dye. Springy is an excellent description of this yarn. Oh, it is Jody. so beautiful. And it's the, the twist is so tight, yeah. you guys. So if you knit the Zadie sweater with us, it's the same wool. But it's a bulky weight, not a worsted weight. The Zadie yeah. was a worsted weight. Um, I have a few more oh. skeins of this, and I will be knitting more things with it. So it's a. Be I think they're going to last beautifully and be warm. I mean, we're in Canada, for goodness sake. You need a warm mitten. You need a bulky mitten. So I'll be gifting these to her today. They took a couple of days to dry. I did block them. They're, so well, they especially pretty. with that antler pattern, you need to sort yeah. of flatten that out. And, and these things literally, you know, if you have a weekend... You don't even need the whole weekend to knit these. This is the size medium. And it took... Was it the medium? Yeah. See, I would knit myself the medium. I would knit this exactly. I might actually knit a little bit of length for the thumb. But right. I've got nails too, and yeah. that's what I'm feeling. This is fitting perfectly. Isn't it nice? You don't want a floppy mitten, no. right? You want to be able... I want to be able to still do things wearing the mitten, like driving and whatever. I will knit a medium. I had tons of yarn left. If you want to knit a large, you've got enough yarn. Yes, you do. Out of the one skein. Yeah. So I've um, I've knit the antler hat. My husband wears it every day in the winter. And I have yarn that I might knit the antler cardigan out of. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. So it's tin can knits. You can knit it for your whole family by the one pattern. And it's from toddler yeah. to adult large. I'm going to do that pattern this weekend. I feel like we need some kind of monument to tin can knits. Yeah. We should have, you know what? We should have a knit along this fall. We should. Yeah. It's a, they're a big deal. And they, you know what? I think also they would be widely appreciated if we chose them because they have so many patterns. Yeah. They have the hats, the mitts, the sweaters, the, I mean, it they've just got candles and scarves yes. and there's socks. There's literally anything you want to make. They've got patterns for, but, and they're you, Canadian gals. You buy the one pattern and you can knit it for anybody that yeah. you've ever met in your entire life, whatever size they are, mm -hmm. kids to adults. So I think that's a big deal. 
Yeah. Anyway, um, I love I love their stuff. Yeah. They gave us a book last year at Knit City. They did. Yeah. Yeah, because their Mad Color book came out last yeah. year. Anyway, I think they're a huge deal. Me and, too. And they're a pattern. Okay, okay. We'll, we'll do that. We'll have okay. a tin can, maybe starting September when our other ones wrap. Let people start thinking we have such about. such a busy fall. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Start perusing your tin can and its patterns and even cast them on. It'll be whips allowed. Yeah. So yeah. our next cow will be a tin can knit. Yeah. Cow. Yeah. We'll try and figure out the dates, but yes, I think that's really fun. I think that is really and fun. And we did have lots of tin can knits patterns in our Canada make along. Yeah. Which ends tomorrow. I know. I won't close the thread till Monday. I feel like when a knit along ends around a weekend. Yeah. People Give have them Sunday night or whatever, or totally. whenever people you finish. People have their knitting time on the weekend. I'm not closing any of the knit alongs that end today and tomorrow. We have yeah. three ending in 20, like within 24 hours. I know. Don't tell anybody, but I won't be closing the threads until okay. Monday. So, so we'll we'll draw names on the. I think that's a great idea. Mm -hmm. People can finish up their things. I think so too. Um, I also think we should. Have you picked a sock bash theme? You know what? A lady a messaged me the other day, and so I did put one up. Okay. For September, you uh, you pick October. Okay. For September, I said anything. Um, autumn colors, so red, orange, or gold, or leaf. Green. Or school themed. Okay, good. All of those will get you a second entry into our September sock bash. Um, and my mind already pops to like um, the yarn enabler sock yarn. I, my, the pencil and the paper. And there's beautiful leaf uh, patterns and of course red, yellow, and gold. Yeah. Or red, gold, and orange. Well, she not only has the paper and pencil, she does the pencil crayons yes. every month. Yes. And she has tons you could choose. So I hope I see lots of pencil socks in our thread. Yeah. And then, but no pumpkin. Don't do pumpkin things. I feel like October might be pumpkin. Well, obviously pumpkin is going to be anything and everything Halloween. Yeah. Right? Yes, Halloween and pumpkins. Yeah. Anything. So, so for think October, about that. So some people knit really fast and get on their September sock done yeah. quickly. Yeah. Think about that. It's obviously going to yeah. be Halloween for October. Yeah. You can't start it until October, but you can certainly think about your yarn choices. Oh yeah, you can't, can you? No, we're really mean. We're super We're bitches. Totally. Uh, I'm looking forward to January when we do our thread for the people that have got a pair in I every month. I can't wait to see all those pictures. I, are we going to ask that they post them all together? Yes. We're going to have to start a thread of I sock bashed all year. Yeah. And in that one post for yourself, you will have to post a picture of every pair that you did that year for our yeah. sock bash. I, we don't care if they're worn. And no, no, that's fine. Yeah. But we have to, and then we will be, when we draw the winners, we will be going back to check to make sure that those were in the previous. Because let me tell you, month. these are going to be mega prize packs. Yeah. It's a big deal. It's a big deal. We want to make yeah. sure the prizes go to somebody that actually stuck it out. It's a big deal to stick it out and do yeah. start and finish a pair of adult socks every month for a year. Well, do I know we do not have that ability. No, we don't. Right. We just no. And I know Diane suburban stitcher participates in the desert Vista dye works. Um, one and I believe up to, I mean, she's done. I actually think she won one year. Did she? So I think she won 12 skeins of Desert Vista Dye Works for the next full year. Well, that's what I said to Jody. We should do for one prize. Oh, I think we should do that. We'll have no problem getting 12 socks. I mean, socks we skins. have a beautiful sock mug from Natalie. <gasps> that's going to be the grand poobah. Which is one of three mugs that say Sock Talk. Ever. That will be, Jody's ever be got made. one, I've got one, and the winner will have one. So if you need any sort of an incentive to keep going for these last few months that you've done it every month so far, please keep it up. Yeah. Because... I just think it's amazing. I'm dying to see how many people did it. I want to see how big that thread is. And if there's only three, good on you. Yes. If there's only three. Then you all get everybody's winning prizes. Yes. Everybody's yeah. winning. So that's really fun. So that was super fun. So that's it for my finished objects. Okay. I think. I have a work in progress. Let me see. I think you're wearing it. I am wearing I, it. You could be finished. You could I was buy actually, it off. I was actually thinking, wouldn't this be cute with a long sleeve t-shirt? Yeah. Like... Jody, okay, I love elbow length sleeves. I just to hear, like that. just above your elbow. So this is um, the Sunday Drive cardigan. Oh my god, so cute! It's got a really cute um, double stockinette stitch here going down, like just two stitches in amongst all the garter. It looks so nice to break up that garter. Like and that. look, you guys, I did buttonholes. And couldn't be easier. Good right? Lord. Good lord. So did you have to pick up the button band and knit ribbon? Yes. 
And there's some short rows up here for your shawl Lots collar. Lots of short rows because look how much bigger this shawl collar is. Oh my gosh, I'm going to knit this sweater, Jody. Tracy. But let me tell you what I wasn't prepared for. The growth in a garter stitch when you swatch. I mean, when did you, you wash block, it. Did you block this already? I blocked it now because um, I felt like I just wanted it blocked. Yeah. The growth in garter stitch definitely happens, but it's also your yarn choice. Yes. Super wash yarn stretches more than non super wash okay. wool. And merino, you know, not super wash merino is known to like, you know, lots of people have knit with like Rios or whatever, yeah. and it can really grow. Okay. So that's something to think about. It is something to think about. And but this it looks like it's perfect though. Whatever it's stretched out to fits you perfectly. I know, but you know what I did? Because I had had so many people say that watch out for your garter stitch and stuff, I actually knit it a full inch and a half shorter than I wanted Good it to you. finish. Good for you. And I was thinking, oh my God, now it's a crop top. But thank God I did that. Yeah. You guys just remember that because holy cow, did this thing grow? And now it's the perfect. Jody, this is crazy. You look like a professional sweater knitter. Thank you. No, I'm not kidding you. Don't you think this is perfect? Like, how could you have improved on this? Um, I mean, you know, nothing. It I really, loved, it fits you beautifully. Yeah. The length is perfect. It fits your body. I love it. Perfectly. Yeah. The color is crazy. Beautiful. This is yarn ink. And this is, what color did I say it was? Jody. Oh. Whatever it is. Pride Rock. Okay. It's Pride Rock, but I have a char black instead of brown. Original Pride Rock was brown, chocolate brown speckles, which was beautiful. Yeah. I just had it. So if anyone's asking Alicia, really nice with that blue this too. is Pride Rock, no brown. So obviously I need a sweater's worth of Alicia's worsted when we go to that city. But you know what's fun about this is the whole thing's knit and garter. The sleeves are going to be stockinette. I love this sleeve cap. Yes, Tracy. Okay, this is really, really, really nice. So sweater. this is a Tannis Fiber Arts pattern, and it's the Sunday Drive cardigan. And I can't tell you how much fun, I talked about it last time, this whole shaping section was. And then it sort of gets boring because then you're just knitting straight garter stitch. Yeah. But then you have the fun of picking up all these stitches. There's a lot of stitches here once you pick them up. The shawl collar is super flattering. Isn't it pretty? Like it's not too big, it's not no. too small, but it really adds an element of finishing around there. I agree. Not just a regular button yeah. band. Um, I might have to knit a sec. I'm gonna knit the sleeve in this one, but I might have to knit something with a short sleeve. I know. Well, I bought the GG cardigan. I bought that yesterday. Did you? Yes. Okay, so Jody. The only thing different that I would like about the Gigi cardigan is I would like some sort of collar, but I could do that. I was looking at it to the same thing. I don't think I'll do my collar exactly the way she did yeah. it. Yeah. Why couldn't we do this? Yeah. We could knit this button band on the Gigi cardigan. Yes. Let me Because they're both worse I bought sweaters. the Gigi cardigan for that exact reason what color yesterday. Did you no, but well, no, I bought the... Just the pattern. pattern. Okay. Yeah. It's really pretty. You know what I was thinking of? I had actually started and I got to here on that sweater. What was that sweater I was knitting? It was Isabel Kramer. Oh yes, that was really nice. And it was, too. An, but it turned. It was Aaron Waite, and I couldn't get past. That was your jazz. That was my jazz. jazz. I couldn't get past how hot I was going to be in this sweater. Oh, okay. Don't you think you can actually use it, Jody, to knit a chunky weight pattern, but using your Aaron Waite yarn and the same size needles, and it'll be like a looser drapier. Oh, that's a great idea. Instead of having it at that tight of a gauge, you can loosen up the gauge a little bit. And it won't feel as, and if I think if you get a cardigan instead of a that's polo water, water, that's why I frogged you it. You won't be as yeah hot. That way you can layer. Yeah. Well, you can still layer with a pullover. I just think, I just thought, oh gosh, I I'm think with be a so bulkier yarn. That. Yeah. Yeah. It's really pretty though. Oh and good gosh. for you for frogging, especially when you know you're not going to love it. You know, I kept knitting row after row. I knit another couple of inches from when you saw it and I thought, you know what? If I'm not 100% happy with it now, I know yeah. I'm not going to be happy when it's finished, and I'm going to be wasted all that time. Totally. Anyway, and, so I frogged it. And you it. love the yarn so much, you should knit something in it that you will yeah. love wearing. Yeah. Good for you. So that's my Sunday drive. i got to find some nice dark buttons. A nice charcoal colored. Yeah. 
I'll find them, no problem. But you will. That's I think the hardest part about sweater knitting is finding great buttons. I know. I want a black, a charcoaly black button. There, I was on the uh, Knit City Knit Social website today, looking at the vendors that are yeah. going to be there, and there's somebody there that does hand turn wooden buttons. Oh, I'll have to get myself. You know what might even set. be cute on this? Like toggles. Would that be cute? Yes, that would be cute. I mean, but I would I would never buy just one. Like, I buy a couple of different choices. Oh, my gosh. Yes, that would be so cute. But, yeah, I'm loving the short sleeve. Sorry. It's beautiful. Good Lord. Okay, so this is going to be finished long sleeve. Then the GG cardigan. Okay. Yeah. Show me yours. Okay. Uh, okay. I have some socks to show, but I'll give you my sweater update. Do you okay. have any socks? No. What? It's crazy. Not a, not all well, summer I can, has I done a stitch. I can save my socks for next time. No. Are yeah, you okay. crazy? Do them. Yeah, whatever. Um, they're not going anywhere. They're single socks. That's so okay. it's not like Show they're us. There. Uh, okay. So did you hand wind those balls? Okay, so I use a ball winder, mm -hmm. but then I pull out of the center. And then it just ends up barfy at some point. I don't it pull gets, out of the center. Well, okay, so I because do because of that. Well, I do because then my cakes, you know, you're not bouncing the cakes around. It's really easy. Yeah. But and at some point it gets to, uh, to be a mess. So you've rewound so that? So I rewound. Yes. Yeah. And I like this so much better. I don't know why I don't. I'm super lazy and I want to get things started right away. But if I could do this quickly, I would hand wind all my yarn. I love, if it's a worst, but DK or worst, it'll hand wind. Don't I you love think, it. love the way it looks? Yes. And I love working from it too. Yeah. So this is the Light Rain um, Pullover by Hohi Locatelli. And last time I was working on the ribbing for the back at the bottom. Mm -hmm. I'd finished the front. I've now finished front and back. I need this sweater. Oh my God, you guys, I love this sweater. I actually knit the back ribbing a couple of inches or an inch and a half longer. That's what I just caught my eye that I loved about it. So in the pattern, they're knit equal mm. length, but I thought I'm going to do it a little bit longer and look at, at the this, back. you guys, this detail, it's a split, split side. I love it. <gasps> so this, oh my God. it's funny you're talking about stretching out of yarn because I'm using a super wash sock yarn. Yeah. Merino. Um, and I've knit this a little bit shorter too. I would like to block it a, a little bit longer than it is. Do that, you guys. I try it on all the time. Do you love it? I love it. And it's. I love the way it's fitting. And so I've finished. Tushy, you were so close. I know. I'm not kidding you. If we podcasted it on Tuesday, I might be finished. So I did f um, one sleeve. But this sleeve I tried on a lot. Because when I look at the picture, Hohi's taller than I am. So I'm assuming her arms are a little bit longer than mine. And there was a lot of extra fabric kind of bunched up here. And I really, I don't know that I wanted all that extra fabric. Yeah. So I kept trying mine on. I did all the uh, the first set of decreases for my sleeve. And then I tried it on. And then I did some more decreases and tried it on. And I did a little bit less length than Hohe calls for in the pattern. And then... So then I'm at a different point for my ribbing too, right? So I, I, I was doing a different length of ribbing. Look at you guys. What? So that's like a buttonhole. You actually just start working back and forth flat. Instead of in the round, you just start going back and forth, back and forth. And then and do Kitchener it together? No, because you're just knitting flat. And then all of a sudden you just start knitting in the round again. That's smart. Oh my God. Like nothing. Oh, I love that detail. I've never knit one of Hohe's sweaters before, and I have to say... Look how beautifully this fits you. Oh my God, a tiny bit of ease, and you're going to get a touch more when you block? Yeah. I have to say, I have not had a point in this pattern, I'm hoping I'm doing everything right, where it's confused me, where I've wondered about the wording, yeah. where I've thought, what am I supposed to be doing here? Zero level of frustration. Yeah. So that is a huge... That's an excellent thing point. To, to be able to write a pattern that makes someone yeah. feel happy and not yeah. frustrated the whole time they're knitting. I feel that way with this um, Tannis Fiber Arts as well. Yeah. That it was line by line. And also this Isabel Kramer one, I got really far. Like I finished all the short row shaping and the decreases and all the arm part. Like, yeah. And same with her pattern. I can't say enough about the, the She's sweater a huge patterns. Designer. She's got beautiful patterns. Okay, where has Isabel Kramer been all my life? I know. Her lines are simple, she's classic, she's not fussy. Like everything about Isabel Kramer, I was in I love too. with. I agree. 
one other thing about this is there's there's the lace pattern panel running down the front of here and that is mirrored in the pattern on the sleeve I decided not to do lace on the sleeve okay that's the only thing that I, I, didn't I actually don't do. think it needs it well I, I mean just... it's a very fun little um to bring a little bit more lace here but I, I like the choice I just that feel you made like it. too the tweed's got a lot going on and it's bright pink and I just want it to be really cozy I didn't yeah. want lace there I'm happy I love the lace I think it's gonna be really pretty yeah, I love it. So, so beautiful. I love knitting this, and I'm I'm on my second sleeve. I can't believe you put it down. I can't believe I put it down either. You're like eighty percent. Part of it was, I I was fussing with the sleeve. Like, how long am I gonna yeah. knit it? And and did you write down your notes? I was just gonna say, for anything that I did, I wrote I wrote notes. Yeah, like super super. Because uh, you have a second one to do, guys. Right. Right? So if you don't remember what you did on that first sleeve, you're kind of screwed if you changed anything. Totally. And I've done it where like, oh God, I'll remember. I'm do doing it right away. No, you don't. I, for sure. Now, I, I don't know why, but I definitely will not remember. So, and I don't know about you guys, but a lot of people knit from their iPad or the computer and stuff. I print everything. I do too. And I write all over everything. Like I've got tally marks and highlighter and big notes to myself and that's just that's just the way my brain works the first thing i do is read through an entire pattern and highlight my size oh, yeah. and all that guess what else i downloaded that i'm going to cast on what? timber oh <laughs> stop so that's going to be my jazz the yes jody yes so timber was what i had ordered my barrett wool for yes i know it was and then veronica popped up so I still need a timber. I know. Um, Veronica won't be in the my near near future. She is um, she is in my winter future. Yeah. Um, but timber is. Oh my god! Probably beautiful. cast on when this is this timber is going to be my next one. And okay, in your jazz. Yeah, that's really nice. Uh, I've got Brooklyn tweed on my brain. Do you? Mm -hmm. So I might buy Brooklyn tweed at Knit City. And knit timber out of Brooklyn tweed, Great. which is what the what it would have. Why don't in the you pattern. just order it? Because I don't want to pay shipping, and honestly, it's expensive. Yeah. As much as I love it, it is. Well, I'm hoping the only it's reason expensive. I say that is because then you can get your exact quantity and your exact color. If it's pricey, well, okay. So last year, and and I have to check to see if this is still happening. Beehive Wool Shop in Victoria carries Brooklyn tweed, yeah. and they bring it to Knit City. And I think there was a thing where you could place an order. Oh, perfect. There, and they bring it to Knit City for you. But don't quote me on that because I really don't know. I don't know. Um, but but I, I might do that. But having said that, if they're not offering that, why couldn't you contact Beehive and place yeah, your order totally. and have them bring it? Totally. They carry everything. Quarry, yeah. loft, shelter, or like everything. I feel like you should do that because I feel like waiting... You might not get your color choice. Yeah. And you might not have your quantity. I know. And I know. And I always think too, I've got yarn. It's not like it's the end of the world if I don't get it. It really isn't the end of the world if I don't get it. Yeah. But I do hold back. I mean, our Canadian dollar's crappy. Brooklyn Tweed's American dollar. Like it's a, it would be an expensive expensive. So yeah. anyway, whatever. It'll happen. I'm not it worried about it. Garment knitting. So I know. I will always have a sweater on the needles now. This is crazy. Me too. Right? I mean, I love knitting socks, but I have to have... I, I do. I'm crazy about the garment knitting right now. Yeah. Um, guess what we did on Monday? You? Did I do we? it? You were with me. <laughs> we went to River City Yarns. Oh, yeah. I was like, what the hell did I do on Monday? So... That our, was really, really, really fun. Wasn't it? Our yes. Our good friend, Eric Lutz, who is Sticks Plus Twine. He yes. He is... Web uh, Magazine co-founder. Yeah, he's got so many titles behind his name. Was coming into town for an event. Long story short, he was coming to Edmonton. Yeah. He made time for us um, in the morning. We met. Tracy yeah. contacted Barb. Yeah. He said, can we meet at River City Yarns? It was and closed on Monday. Yeah, they have summer hours. So in the summer, they're closed Sunday, Monday. Rest of the year, they're open mm. every day but Sunday. Yeah. Um, and Barb said, oh, come on over. I'm here working anyway. So we had like a little get private. together, private store tour, and just like a great chat. Yeah. And really, I just didn't want mm. it to end. He had to go back to work. Oh my God. We could have just kept him there. Sebastian all was mad. 
day. Because he um, originally said he could stay till noon, and it was like tw it was later. Uh, well, we didn't want him to leave. We wanted to keep him. He was working, and I know. And then maybe we Eric will come back again soon. I hope so. I think we should go to Toronto. He's coming to Calgary to do the same thing. I know. Um, so, and then we were invited to his event at the rec room that he was promoting. Yes. And uh, we met Sebastian. We did. I, Finally. I feel like Sebastian and I would be best friends if we <laughs> lived in the same city. I mean, I knew I would love Eric because, yeah. right? I mean, yeah, we had some well, contact. I felt, and I felt Eric so and we're already best friends. GBFs. <laughs> And I feel like um, Sebastian would fit right into my I life. I loved them both. He could be my gay husband. Well, he's got one of those. I know. So <laughs> you'll, you'll, have to, you'll have to pick something else. Uh, wh so what I'm trying to say is I really, Eric was as fabulous as I thought he would be when we met. Yeah, he's a great And guy. Sebastian was equally as fabulous. He's, you know, he we were talking yarn and knitting and knitting events and... Personal stuff. Anyway, it was it was the most fabulous visit. I didn't it want it to end. It was a long It really it was rushed. And the next time we see him, will most likely be Ryan back. So yeah, that will be that was super duper fun. Yeah, it was fun. He doesn't know that we're like we don't go out and we don't do anything. I know. So it was like <laughs> it was here we are. Totally. <laughs> we had a blast. Yeah, it was fun. Okay, so I wanted to tell we there's a great event happening in Alberta this September. We're not going to be around for it, which is super sad. I wanted to go so badly. The Prairie Fiber Festival, first ever. That's exciting. Is happening. Sunday, let me get my details right. Sunday, September 24th in Lacombe, Alberta. And there's over 20 vendors. And Melissa, who's Prairie Dye Studio, has organized the whole thing. Wow. Isn't so that amazing? Where are they going to be? In Lacombe, Alberta. So not crazy far. It would not. We would be there for sure. Yeah. If we didn't... If we're we were not out of town, yeah. um, we would be there for sure. But Melissa said, would you like to give away two sets of tickets? Yeah. How fun is that? Yes. So we're going to give a winner, two winners, a chance to take their knitting BFF to the Prairie Fiber Festival yeah. for free. You'll get free entry in. Um, do you think we should do that in Ravelry? We'll open a thread. Or should we do it in the comments below the video? That's so hard to pick winners that way. Is it? A little bit. Okay, let's do a Ravelry thread then. Okay. That's we'll easy. We'll do, it's super easy. Ravelry okay. makes it so easy yeah. to do to do giveaways. Um, we'll have a prompt. We'll give them away, I don't know, in a week. So obviously it's people that can get to Lacombe on yeah. that weekend. If you, but you have to be for sure, for sure going. Because yeah. we want someone that absolutely is going to use these tickets. We want them to be used. Um, and we'll have some kind of a... Um, how about like your favorite uh, BFF movie or romantic comedy totally. or something like that. that? They're my favorite movies. They don't make enough of them. Uh, I'm so tired of going to movies with explosions and end of the world. Mm. And give me like some hot romance with a little <clears throat> bit of good. Okay. Did you see the Reese Witherspoon new romantic comedy? No. With but a really I, young boy toy. Oh my I God. feel like an, a hundred year old cougar when I look at these people. No. It's, no. It looks great. It's coming out in November. It was one of those pre previews I saw, and I thought, oh, I needed to see that. Yeah, totally. I want the romance doesn't sell, so they don't make them. Really? Well, yes. When was the last time you saw a good romantic movie? I, maybe that's why I had such a positive reaction when I yes. saw this, this trailer. I love good dramas and romance and all of that stuff. It seems like superhero sell. Oh, superhero sell. Yeah. And explosions and end of the world and all that stuff. Although, I just went to see, um... Bodyguard. I saw Atomic Blonde. Oh, yeah. With Charlize Theron. You guys see a lot of movies. That was a good one. Well, I love going to movies, and now we go to that VIP theater. We just sit there, and Never they bring been. everything. Oh, oh, it's really... Do they bring they, you popcorn? They bring you... There's a menu for dinner. You can have oh beer, wine, whatever you want. And these really comfy chairs. And Do they have a foot rest? No, that is the one thing they don't have. It should be a lazy boy type. It, they, I would never leave if that's what it was. <laughs> Maybe that's what they don't. I would never leave. Um, and what was the last? Oh, bodyguard. We saw Something. the Hitman's Bodyguard yeah. with Ryan Reynolds and Samuel L. Jackson, and it was fabulous. It could be 90 minutes of Ryan Reynolds sitting on you a couch. You have me at Ryan Reynolds. Yeah. He needs to do another drama, like His romantic. His dry, quick wit is just everything for He's me. He's Canadian. He's pretty oh. perfect. Yeah. He's pretty perfect. Eva Mendez is a lucky lady. Oh, Blake Lively. 
No, Ryan Reynolds. Yes, Ryan. yes. I'm think. Who am I thinking of? Uh, you're thinking Ryan, of Ryan Gosling. Gosling. Another Equally. Canadian okay, Ryan. I could. I was thinking about Ryan Gosling, but Ryan Reynolds. Okay, his sense of humor is off the chart. His timing. Yeah. Deadpool. If you guys yeah. haven't seen Deadpool, because I'm not a huge superhero sort of yeah. Marvel. Yeah. That was a good movie. That was super fun. Okay. Was good. Uh, no, Ryan Gosling, he's done his share of good romantic movies. He does. Crazy Stupid Love. So good. Blue something was really good. It was dark, but it was uh, good. Well, The Notebook. Duh. Yeah. Right? Yeah, we could go on and on. Anyway, are we supposed to be here to talk knitting okay. or what? Should we do Sock Talk? I'm listening to... Uh, Karen, K A R I N, Karen Slaughter's new book. She's really good. I the Good hers. Daughter. I highly recommended. Really? Thriller. Um, Sandra, like, it is an amazing book, you guys. Cool. Karen Slaughter. Anyway, okay, okay I'll go. I got it. Um, sock Talk. We could do Sock Talk, sure. Um, I wanted to show you one thing that I've been using a lot too this summer. Did I ever show this? I don't think I showed this. I got this when you were away in Sarnia. It's a yarn butler. Look how nice it is. It's moves. so smooth. And so I use this, I used it the whole time I was knitting my Veronica cardigan, big cakes of yarn. Did you? Yeah. Because then you pull from the outside and yes. it's not. Let me tell you, this is the cat's ass. Yeah. Uh, I don't know why there's that saying. I don't want a cat's ass. This is the cat's ass. This is way better than is a cat's ass. Is that referring to a cat's ass this being terrific? This is better than a cat's <laughs> ass. <laughs> way. Um, it is actually made here in Edmonton or Duke, I think they're in. This is A&R Designs, who we saw at the Edmonton Fiber Frolic. And we bought those bowls. You guys, so the her bowls. her husband, that's Angela. Her husband does the woodwork. He's got, and he, remember we talked about he's got the shawl pin. Yes. Like, he had a lot of beautiful items. So, this thing is absolutely, I mean, it's finished beautifully. It's smooth and slick. And you can hear, like, the ball bearings in there. It just moves so I nice. know there's other ones that you can buy but this is a and r designs beautiful I'll, they're in on etsy and if you're local to alberta they go to all kinds of fiber festivals and stuff and they've got those dates right in their etsy shop i wonder if they're going to be at the prairie fiber festival i don't know that would be amazing her bowls you guys off the chart she takes custom orders if you have colors specifically that you want but if you don't have a yarn bowl which i'm i don't have a yarn bowl um is yours upstairs what your bowl, yes. My knit, yes, yeah. I have it with socks upstairs because I have a gajillion socks that I that mock me in bowls all over my house. But um, th this is a I I prefer this I think to a yarn bowl. Yes, I can't get my yarn to stay in the yarn. Like my, it never stays in the little thing. Yeah, and then I pull it, and the yarn pulls out of the bowl. Kind of. Yeah, I agree. I, I've seen some wooden yarn bowls that I like a lot, but I don't have one. Yeah, this. 10 out of 10. Yeah. Love using this. So if you get a chance, those are really fun to use. Um, but yeah, Sock Talk. Should we do our giveaway that's happening in Sock yeah. Talk first? Let's oh do that. Gosh. This is a fun one. This is crazy. Look at this colorway too. I'm crazy about it. Okay, so this one, this is a Something kit that launches different. tomorrow. And it's a really cool collaboration wow. between three unbelievably talented ladies who all have podcasts. So you should go watch yeah. all of their podcasts, and I'll link that for you. Um, this is the Volca Sock Kit. We're a little bit blown out. We haven't quite... Oh, perfect. What's upon a corgi? I know. I've never seen Gabby's yarn in person. It is so beautiful. I can't tell you how multi-dimensional this is. Well, this colors. color is... You can see... My jam. So this is something sinister. Yeah. You can see the different tones of purples and mauves and taupes. And, and then this is dark like my soul. But if you see, you guys, it's got a tad of purple and some navy. Oh, It's really, really layered and beautiful. And so this is on her penny base, which is her merino cashmere nylon. Because She's also so got a Polworth base in her shop. Polworth is so strong. Yes. So she's going to have kits. So this is for the Volca Socks. Becky, who is Soprano Knits and has the Stringing It Together podcast, designed the Volca Socks. Yes. And she's over in Germany. And I believe Volca means cloud in German. I think so. Because look at this. One of those beaded, you guys, stitch markers. Do you remember how we were blown away? This is Hannah, who's the corner of craft on Etsy. She hand beads these teeny tiny progress keepers. And we... 
loved them. Yeah. So she's got the great earring clasp on them that we love so much. And so she's made a little cloud progress keeper. And I believe, so there's two different colorways that you can get this kit in. Um, Gabby's got a Hedwig color and it's creamy and grays. And oh my God, it's so nice. This, this is the one I would pick. Yeah. They're both, I think you should get them both. If you can get them both, get them both. Oh, uh, but Hannah's got two different little clouds that she offers. So there's one in each color of kit. Yeah. Uh, there are, I believe, only eight kits available. No. Shoot. I'm going to be in big trouble because I'm getting it wrong. She said there's four different kits, eight in each color set. Oh, so there's four different colorways you can well, get. Well, there's, there's this color comes on the merino and the pole oh. worth, and the other one comes on the merino and the pole worth. So there's Got four it. kit types, two bases, four kits. Anywhere. So not on a huge amount, you guys. Right. Get in there. So I have a feeling she'll be dying more because it'll be super successful. But they launch tomorrow. So if you want one of the first kits... Go to the Upon a Corgi Etsy shop at 10 a.m. Eastern. Um, good question. Gabby is in the East, so I would think it yeah. is. Yes, 10 a.m. Eastern. Perfect. So Friday, September 1st, 10 a.m. Eastern, the Upon a Corgi Etsy shop. This comes as a kit. You get the pattern, the yarn, oh, the progress keeper. And the, the socks are beautiful. They've got a textured leg, and then most of the foot is kind of vanilla, and then the texture again across the top of the toe, and then a colored toe. Oh, that's fun. They're really, really pretty. I will absolutely be knitting them. Look at her cards, you guys. And like I said, these ladies are all adorable and sweet and have their yeah. own podcast, and you should totally go watch them. Um, so we're giving this away. <laughs> we're going to give this away. Where Yay. should we give it away? Should we do Instagram? Or should it be a sock bash prize? Because we just had oh, August sock bash. Let's do that. Okay. Because then this will be... It's another way. I mean, I really do like bribing everybody to knit socks with us every month. I know. This will be a great sock bash prize. Okay. Sock bash. So we can do this for September. Okay. Okay. Because that's fair warning where people really, really want yeah. to try and get it. We're going to do it for September sock bash. Um, our August sock bash has 565 sock pairs knit this Yay. month alone and that's not even till the end of the weekend i'm i'm assuming that'll go way over 600 and our canada make along 700 going in that thread and seeing what people have done it's it's overwhelming. So it's many, amazing. There's yeah. some amazing things have been isn't sweaters it sweaters and i know because we gave everybody a few months three no, only two months, July and August. Yeah, but wow, this is good for me. I could do do in three weeks. Yeah, so you could get a lot of things. I hope people have multiple people, multiple oh, entries. Oh, they've been doing so well. And then also our second sock of summer, five hundred and eighteen. I know you guys. Pairs of socks have been made. Right, these were just the singles that needed yes. to match up. I think we should do that in a longer video because I think we do too. In a selfish way, because I have so many single socks, I and I know there's other people out there like. <coughs> So anyway, we are very excited about this sock yeah. collaboration. I love it when makers collaborate. <coughs> Bless you. Whatever. Thank you. Stop bugging me. I have a tickle. <laughs> a That's what I thought you were going to say. I have a tick. <laughs> Is it burrowing into your skin? I have a skin? tick in my throat. <laughs> okay, so. I do have a sock that I made. I want to see it. Okay. There's a... Oh, shoot. Oh, yeah. Okay. This is exciting. Another one? Oh, this is her pattern. Yeah, I this saw is this. This is a hippo bag. Mm -hmm. So this is, you can get this hippo bag at lolodidit.com. She did the custom fabric, and it's got all the little holidays for her. Okay, so, oh my God, my yarn ball's so ugly, but the color. Stop it. What is that? This is hippo for Cinco. Oh. Which is, you know, Cinco de Mayo. So Lauren and Trey of Lolo Did It, they have a color called Naked Hippo. And it's just a soft, beautiful, perfect gray. And last Christmas, I think, or when? When do you the think Christmas the first before? One was? I think was just one hippo color was done. So, she, so it was hippo for Christmas, mm -hmm. and it was the gray with speckles that matched, yeah. like green and red. And ever since then, she does every holiday. Like she really picks fun. her color. So she's done Mother's Day, Father's Day, Easter, Cinco de Mayo, Valentine's Day, St. Patrick's Day. Um, I'm totally, Halloween. I mean, Halloween's coming, I would think, and Christmas, and who the heck knows what. But I just thought the colors were so She did amazing. Hippo for Halloween last year. Okay, so she's been going on it. She's now while. done a year of it, of, of her holidays. Well, I'm a sucker. I, I actually feel I like... I this colorway, Tracy. I feel like these colorways are 
perfect. Like I love gray so much with bright speckles. I feel like this is like perfect for me and you. Oh. Like you just love gray with speckles. I do love this colorway. So there was a brand new sock pattern that just came out. And I at the time, Jacqueline has outdone herself. Stop. When this when I saw this on Instagram, I thought to myself, oh my god, those yeah. are beautiful. The pictures, I don't have I didn't I'm cheapo and I didn't print the picture page. Um this is a bad picture, but I'm going to put a good picture in our video. And the boots are everything. Oh, stop it. That whole I know. 10 out of 10 for that yeah. picture. But it is a beautiful sock. It's called the Clark Socks. And so <gasps> it's got a giant cable running down the front. Oh my gosh. Which is really so simple. And then it's got a little cable running down the back. That to me, that back detail is so thoughtful and not seen very often. Let me tell you. This sock, I spent a day like this. This is what drew, this is what distracted me from my sweater. I was enjoying this pattern so much. I can see why. Lots, so this is very very memorizable. You're only crossing a cable on two rows of a eight row pattern. Yeah. So as soon as you know which rows you're pat crossing on, you don't even have to look at the pattern anymore because she's got these little pearls. Oh, I didn't see those at now, first. Now, there's eight stitches here, eight stitches here, and 16 stitches in the middle for a 64 stitch sock. Yeah. So whichever stitch your pearl is on, that's what row of the pattern you're on. See, I think she that's very, very thoughtful. Jody, I don't even look at the pattern yeah, anymore. You wouldn't have to. I know on the front that I'm crossing my... Like, it really, you need the, this pattern. People need this pattern. This goes just as fast for me as a vanilla sock. Wow. Very, very, barely slower than a vanilla sock. Yeah. And you get this beautiful, beautiful But you know cable. what I love so much about this front cable? I mean, I'm crazy about the single back. Yeah. I'm just crazy about that detail. But I love that it's not just a two twist it's three cable. Legs. It is so beautiful. And I can't even, I cannot emphasize enough how simple the yeah. pattern is, even though it looks quite fancy. Um, it is a big cable, and I found, I actually started the sock on my regular 2.25 millimeter needle, and then as I was knitting, I thought, I don't think this is going to fit. It seemed narrower than I need. Because the cable brings it in a bit. It does. So all I did was, I didn't even rip my sock back. I was only up to about here. Um, I just changed my needle size to a 2.5. Okay. And just kept knitting, and it fits great. So, so that's something to think about. It is. So I, I think with a cable, maybe you want to go up a size, but... <gasps> Who knows? I can't wait to meet Jacqueline. And then she does a short row She's heel so in there. She's so cute. Short row heel. My oh. short row heel, I don't even want to show you up close because I don't think it's very good. Um, Why? Oh, yeah. You can you... put whatever heel you want in these socks. So you could have just kept knitting and cut in a heel. I don't think I'm a short row heel person. Because you didn't like it? Yeah. yeah. I didn't like knitting it very much. I'm going to knit it as, and I'm going to, I just think that's a good thing to do. Knit different things to see if you like them. Sure. Uh, but there are other heels that I like better. This works out to be about the same size as an afterthought heel. Mm -hmm. So I could insert an afterthought heel. I could do a heel flap and gusset. So you and it's have, not going to affect. You could have kept knitting, cut in a heel, and finished the sock. Yep. Just how you normally would. Yeah. Okay. So. But I, I like that you tried that. I, I like do. That you tried... And the pattern is exceptionally well written. It's super, super clear. Yeah. I love it. I will knit. I will knit more than one pair of these. These I, babies are awesome. Sometimes when you see socks come out, they're they they you know they're reminiscent of, of another one, or they're sort of I don't know a regurgitation of a another pattern you've seen. Yeah, I feel like this is so fresh, totally, and so new with what she's. I don't know. And something if, about you it know, is... You know, you could even do this little cable on, along the front and the back and be done. Like, you can really have fun. You can change a pattern whichever way you want. Yeah. I love it the way it's written. And I love, like you said, the back detail. Yeah. I mean, this, this is her is... first sock pattern. No. Well, I think... you Maybe. I yes. Don't know. I think it is. Yes, it yes, is her it first is. sock yeah. pattern. So Jacqueline is also Brooklyn Knit Folk. Yeah. Awesome podcast. And she lives in Brooklyn. She's so lucky. Holla. Um, she's wonderful to follow on Instagram. She does mm -hmm. all kinds of New York bits and bites, right? I do love that. And I'm knitting this magic loop, as always. 
uh, on this is the chow goo twist mini twist you're crazy about those okay i'm so crazy about it i bought the damn set i said i'm not buying the set who needs the set well apparently i need the set but you're only going to use a few of them but you know what jode i think at some point in my sock i love to knit socks so much I, i'm gonna you i don't, do I don't have a knitting. two millimeter needle yeah you're right you're right and this cord is ever i know thing. it is really you guys so anyway that's old news but i love it lots of people have been asking what's your favorite needles what's your how long is your cord how do you knit socks always magic loop 32 inch for me yes you changed my mind 32 inches 40 my was just a little too much cable for me although i have 40s and i use them because yeah. they're there but yeah. if i was buying them now they're 32 i agree totally i'm loving the zings oh I have a Zing. I was using that. We love the Addies. Actually, I started this sock on the Zing. I need some 2.5s of the Zing. Okay. Um, They're inexpensive. That's why I love them so much. I mean, we love an Addy sock needle. Yeah. They're pricey. They are. Uh, so if you can treat yourself to a, one they're of those really, needles, really they're beautifully, they're beautiful sock needles. But then you go to a Zing or a Twist. Oh, no. The Twist is about the same price point as an Addy. Yes, because you have to buy the tips yeah. and, the, and the cord. So it's not cheap, but they're really I good. Know. The zings are about a third, and boy, those do the trick. Yeah. They're sharp. They're slick. My not as slick as an Addy, but still slick enough for me to knit a sock. Yeah. I think my favorite sock needle would be if the Addy had a baby with this <laughs> mini twist, and it was the Addy Rocket in nickel-coated, because I really like a slick needle, on this cord the plastic cable the plastic this coated thing. cable yeah and that's what's so beautiful about it it's it's plastic but it's a coated metal it's metal yeah it's so fine and delicate you guys it it's, is it's amazing so i do love i love i still love sock knitting i love yeah. sock knitting one of these days i'll have to love sock pair knitting but whatever you whatever. know what i bought the Leica likey yes i bought a sock needle I haven't yes. used it yet. I should cast okay. on a pair and try it. Lily of Nordic. Did she laugh at us? Well, probably. She probably rolled her eyeballs like these girls are idiots. She's actually got some Nordic Stitches yes. podcast. She's got a video just to tell us all how to pronounce those needles. Good on you, girl. So she's she's very sweet to do that because honestly, I still, I've watched it and I still don't remember. That is I think it's funny. like... Likey. No, it's definitely not that. Leica. It's like Luca, Likey. And I mean, the word means happiness in Norwegian. So we should probably, it's kind of a nice word. I'm to surprised know. we don't know because we had so many great people put comments below phonetically spelling how to sound it out. Oh, anyway, I think it means beautiful needles. gorgeous needles, but whatever. <laughs> Bam. Oh, Tracy. That's what she said. That's the colorway. That is the colorway. This is your beautiful birthday colorway that Sam of Scrumptious Pearl dyed out. It is so beautiful. Does that make you happy oh looking my, at it? Jody. I yes. love it. I don't even know what to say. Yeah. It's the Smooth Operator Sock by Susan B. Anderson. I knit a really long ribbed cuff. I do like that. I knit a whole color repeat. Plus a little bit of the... I Did started start with the color? That? Yeah. So it's, a, it's, it's definitely a whole color repeat. And then I just kept going on a tube, made a tube and cut in a heel. I didn't even change my toe color because I just love the stripe so much. And that's so fun. Like, it's like, it's your mood of the day when you're doing a sock. Oh, totally. It's like, totally. Oh, I, sometimes I do different colored toes. Sometimes I do different color. I actually really like it when it's just one of them done. I agree. And I think the heel. I love the heel. But then so, I, but then I think sometimes the, just the toe. But I also love the heel done in the stripes because it makes a bullseye. I so, know. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, this color was in Sam's latest update. I believe she sold out. So, but she's dying it. So keep. Yeah, she'll bring it back. She can only do so much. Follow her on Instagram. She's got amazing colorways. I got the cake for breakfast and I can't wait. Is okay. it here? Yes, it's right there. Okay, you guys. It's glistening like a beautiful pearl. Do you remember this when Tracy showed us? I don't know if all of you remember I should cast it. that on. No, I should finish some socks first. And every single color spoke to me in this thing. Oh my so God. I didn't want to order a, uh, I ordered speckle because I didn't want to take the chance that the color would be slightly different on a different wool, which you it mean could sparkle. be. sparkle. Yeah. Okay. Did I say speckle? I think so. Uh, yeah. I ordered on the speckle because I sparkle because I didn't want to risk the chance, but this is called cake for breakfast with gold sparkle. God, you guys. 
I just want to put it on a little thing and watch it spin and turn because it's like so beautiful. And I have so much self-striping yarn, which I'm crazy about. And I told myself I really should knit some, but I couldn't resist. Ah, whatever. There's no rules. So this is coming to me. If you feel like knitting it, knit it. And I totally agree. I actually think I might do mittens out of that. Oh, that'd be beautiful. Um, and I like having my, ball, my really pretty skeins out to look too. at. I have a huge weakness for self-striping yarn. I know. And yet I like slap my wrist all the time because I can't, but I have so much good self-striping yarn. I know. Guess what I got? More self-striping yarn. What? I just happened to be on Instagram and bitter knitter and... You're a bitch. What? <laughs> what did you tell me? What? Bitter Knitter was on there with yarn? <laughs> you had so much of it, I didn't even think to tell what you. What did she... Oh my God. She I... had a very small update. She did not, because it was less than 20 skeins or whatever. I gotta look. Jody, I got this color. Don't even tell me, now I'm jealous. You have so much of her yarn, I, would I buy, never even It thought. wouldn't matter, she could tell me I have a dog shit colorway done <laughs> oh, shit. i'm buying it okay well now i feel really bad um ask her to send put it is something in my bag my package order one and put it in my package i got this one that's kind of like royal blue and peach and that one. Oh my god it's called hooray it sold out in about 12 seconds i got an email and well, if you buy something, tell her to slip it in my package and you, you won't have to pay No, because she'll have to uh, dye it. Doesn't matter. I can wait. Oh, no, forget it. Mine's on the way. That was ready to ship. I got a thing oh saying God, it's look coming. This is bacon and egg. Or oh lazy egg. Oh, my God, Jody. Called. Well, now I feel really bad. Now I can't even enjoy my damn yarn because okay, you're making so me feel FYI, bad. Okay, so FYI. What? If you ever see Bitter Knitter. How do I know I'm not getting a color you already have? I okay, know. so anyway, thanks for ruining that for me, but whatever. <laughs> um, I'm just kidding. I do have so many of her yarn. You do have so many. I'm just such a huge fan of Anne. I've never, ever, ever, ever caught an update of hers. Anytime I go to her Etsy shop, it's empty. Um, and I just feel like I've got tons of yarn, so I don't message people and ask them to dye stuff very often. Turn on post notifications. No kidding. Anyway, it was fabulous. I love it. Good for you. You're going to be so happy when you get that I in the mail. I put it in my cart. Didn't check out. I emptied it and thought, what is your problem? You have tons of yarn. No, you got to get Anne's yarn when, you, when she does it. So I emptied it. And then I went back to the shop and thought, okay, maybe just one. And so, you know how you play that game with yourself? If it's still there, it's meant to be. So I, I don't. I just check out. I, I don't even play put it in it. my cart. And I thought, by the time I hit checkout, somebody's going to cart jack me. Everything went through. It was all good. Good for you, because I've done that before and just thought, oh my God, I felt like a lucky day. Yeah, we'll split You'll it. Love. We'll split it. No, we won't split yes, it. Yes, because Jody. so much of Anne's yarn. We can split it. Even if one of us gets it, it's If fine. I messaged Anne, she would dye it for me. I know, she would. Yeah. So it's all good. She's, Enjoy so if you it. love self-striping yarn, coloring book yarns is what we're talking about. And I say, get some. <laughs> okay. okay. Bam. Speaking of amazing self-striping. Speaking of amazing self-striping, Gage, oops, Gage Dye Works. You have a limp sock. Sad problem to have. You um, talk about that. I'm going to get a clean act. Okay. Um, talk about your sock. Talk amongst yourselves. Georgia. Georgia said she's not coming out because she doesn't want you to yell at her. Georgia, you ruined the pig's tie. This. Oh my god, he scared the shit out of her. <laughs> Headphones on. Oh my god. Georgia. You're so mean. So this is, this was the Gage Dye Works test knit yarn that is, like it's so brand new. It just got its name. It's called All Together Now. And I love it. So I knit basically an entire repeat. I started on the cuff on the one color and finished on the toe in the same color. Cut in my afterthought heel. This is another Susan B. Anderson smooth operator sock. I don't know what Jody's doing, but she's like torturing my daughter. I'm back. She's bad news. Jody, whenever she comes over, she likes to put stuff in people's like the sheets of my kids' beds or threaten to short sheet the bed. 
And then I have to deal with the crap. Oh my God, mom. I did knock, but she had headphones on. So when it opened up, I said, Georgia. And I scared the shit out of her. Totally. She had headphones on. Totally. Anyway, that this is, is so beautiful. Isn't it pretty? Yeah. I, I'm dying again to fin. I really do. I'm not going to be casting on any more socks because. You want to finish a few pairs. Well, look how nice they are. I just want to get wearing them. Yeah. So that's that's what I'm going to work on. Sweater Beautiful. and a few socks, but I really love. Right? Love. I just want to. This with my red clogs? Come on. Oh. And I've got navy blue clogs. Or yellow. You have yellow. I do. I have yellow too. Yeah. Anyway. Love it. Okay, so that's it. I mean, I, I mean, I, I, I could talk yarn all day, and I'm loving my sweater, but I really, it's a very light week for me. Today is August 31st, which is the first clue of the What the Fade. I'm buying it. I might not knit it right now, but I'm buying it. I'm going to buy the pattern, too. I have a fade kit. Why don't you knit the fade? Too much. I, I'm knitting it. I'm going to love it. It's just not today. There's only one fade kit that I saw that I thought that is me on yarn. And it's the Andrea's kit from Nicole of Hugh Local. You ordered this one. I do have it. So at this point, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a sweater. The So Faded sweater. Or is it? But maybe the What the Fade is going to be my jam. I don't know. I know. And Stephen West has one coming up. How exciting. Every it's The fall is so fun because we're getting cooler. And when you see something like this, it just inspires you in, on so many levels. These colors are just... You just want to... I mean, I love the pink. I mean, pink and gray, oh right? God, right? It's kind of pretty much one of my favorite combinations ever. And there's this beautiful, like, olive -y, goldy color in there, too. It is gorgeous. Stop it. So these, I don't know, I don't know if Nicole still, she still has them in her shop sometimes. Yeah, they pop in and out. She's got her so faded kits. Anyway, it is five stains, and this is on her merino cashmere nylon, which is her spun sock. How beautiful is that? Her oh. spun sock is super soft. I guys. really, I think I really want the faded sweater. It's beautiful. I really do. I see all the ones out there, and it's so beautiful. I've had this for like a month. I haven't done anything with mine either. It's actually sitting in my basket we were talking about that we got at that. At oh, yes. Yeah. Sitting, just sitting so I can see it. It's so, I mean, these colors are just my favorite colors. Is this your sweater color? Girl Talk. Yeah. Yeah. Girls Talk, Pink Peppercorn, Peony, Primrose, and Cutie Pie. So Girls Talk was the darkest one. Yeah. Anyway. Future, Pretty. future dream knitting. Yeah. So I think we are on to Party in Our Mailbox. Yay. We've had some amazingly generous folks send stuff our way. Um, and we've also had so many patterns donated this summer, and I feel really, really bad because I have not made a video about that yet. Should, but whatever. I know. I'm going to have to go back in my notes because they're beautiful, and we want to show them to you guys all because they've all been donated as prizes. Thank you, designers. Thank yeah. you that think it's of so us. It's so fun to see all these new things pop up. Totally. And yeah. it's so fun. People message back and say, I just got a free pattern from your knit along. And yeah, that's a big that's deal. Fun. It's a big deal. Okay, so first thing that came our way. Do you want to show this yarn? It is this so... This is from someone I, I did not know. It is the Raspberry Knitting Dye Works shop. Here's one of her colors. This one's called Love is Everything Everything. Look at those speckles. Isn't that beautiful? It's so blue. And actually she was, um, you guys, this is called hydrangeas. She was motivated by this book. This is, so this yarn is dyed as an inspiration from this book. She actually sent us the book. Have you not watched the movie? No. Oh, it's so good. Well, she says the book's amazing. So I'm going to read yes. the book. Yes. The movie's um, out to rent just now. This is Cassie. Cassie is Raspberry Dye Works. Cassie, your yarn is fun, it's vibrant, it's beautiful. She's 14 years old. No. Yes. I was going to say youthful as one of my descriptions because of just the colors pop to me that it's just so young and Isn't fun. It? They're just pretty. They're just fun and beautiful and look at that color. This one, skeined up, is going to be stunning. She says it's a micro stripe. So half of it is this blue. And half of it is the speckle. So is her, I wonder what her, the knitting background in her life is. is well, 
Because 14 is young to be a dyer. Well, not just a I mean, obviously, she's been doing it for a little while, right? Well, she's I got an Etsy but store. 14. 14. So she's obviously a crafty girl. But you can get to know Cassie on the Raspberry Knitting Podcast. She's got a podcast and a dye business. Oh, my God. Look at all this. So Cassie is obviously a knitting rock star, a dye rock star. I think we should all go check out the Raspberry Knitting Podcast and subscribe to her. The candies in the bags that she sends with yarn are raspberry flavored. Right here. Okay, for 14 years old, these little touches. Well, I'm sure she's going to have help, you know, maybe know. maybe with maybe some input from home. Maybe not. Maybe this is just her thing and she she's, knows what she wants and she's obviously big into the knitting world. She right? learned to knit a year ago. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? So she sent a coupon code our way. If you go to Raspberry Knitting Dye Works on Etsy and use the code GROCERY10, you're going to save 10% on your yarn. I'm going to go buy something from Cassie today. And you're going to be supporting a young maker. Who this is, you know what, the age is beside the point. Look, she's doing a beautiful job. It's just exciting to know that she's 14, but it's certainly not the whole story. So Cassie. Love I'm it. just going to um, follow her on Instagram right now so I don't forget. So, Jody, she sent this yarn for us. Maybe you should knit something out of it because you know the book and the movie. This is her 7525 Superwash Merino Nylon. This should be one of us. We should split it and make shorty socks, each of us. What do you think? I absolutely agree. And then we can still shop in Cassie's shop. And course. then we can give away one. But she has given us this, and I love mm. it. And thank you, thank you, thank you, Cassie. You guys, these little um, candies are really good. Isn't that exciting? Yeah. We have, See, good for you. I uh, totally. So we have, okay, this is, okay, this is something I bought, but I don't have to show you. It's kind of life-changing, though. I am going to show you the thing I bought because it's life-changing. And it's for sweater knitting. Okay, this is, you guys are going to know this as soon as you see it. This is Rin Textiles, and she's out of Hamilton, Ontario. That's for you. Thank you. We've got a beautiful giveaway package. I love the glassine I was just going to say, it's my favorite thing for packaging is a glassine bag. This is Erin. And she's what? got her... Yeah, she makes the most beautiful... She's got enamel pins and beautiful progress keepers and stitch markers. Oh my gosh, you guys. You can actually buy this... Um, you can buy it from Cassie's website, which is erinngilkeys.com. Uh, she's got brass ones. She's even got some weaving in her, web sh in her shop. And this is Knit Club... She's got one that says Weaving Club or Weave Club. Oh, fun. Yeah, it's really neat. Erin, thank you so much. But she does really much. beautiful teardrop-shaped brass stitch markers. Well, these ones are the silver version. Yes. But this is the Progress Keeper, but she's got the little oh, loops stitch that look like teardrops. But anyway. Nice. Her shop is beautiful. Thank you, thank you for Erin for treating us to, to some goodies Guess as well what? as a giveaway. Thank you. And I'm totally into the enamel pins, so this Knit Club baby is going right on one of my favorite bags. I like some makers have made these bags where they've got the plain canvas on the top. Yes. And something fun on the bottom just for enamel, like just... Just like the one that Vanessa just sent us from yes. My Creative Garage. Mm -hmm. so this is perfect for that bag. Mm -hmm. So I do, I love a great enamel pin. Um, they're beautiful. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. And somebody's going to get an amazing prize. Um, that was really cool. And we had, okay, we should show our friend Laura at Row One Yarn knows us. She sent chocolate. I didn't get any. Oh, I'm, that must be the bag I ate. Actually, Georgia suggested we eat yours and not tell you that. Georgia! We <laughs> okay, so this is kind of a funny story. Laura messaged us and says, I want to treat you to my color club. We've had Laura's color club before and it's amazing. And I said to her, come on, sell your color club, but I, we'd love a giveaway. We really would. And she was really sweet. So her color club comes and it looks like this. You may remember from another time and you get this little glassine bag in here and it's, it's a mini skeins club. So it's a different dyer every yeah. month. This one is 25 gram minis. And so you get a big piece of paper that tells you the color names and what fiber it is and who's the dyer mm -hmm. and all that stuff. But she sends a treat in the bag. So she sent us a like, whole bunch of treats with the giveaway. So this is for us and this is to give away. 
So I get the giveaway and I'm looking at the yarn and I said, holy crap, this is so nice. So I went to her website and I bought us each one. What? So this is for you. Crazy. And this is to give away and this is for me. And so the dyer for her August Club was Evil Little Goat. Of course, who I've, I've heard of. But the oh colors God. are I gotta follow crazy. now Evil Little Goat. So that's the whole beauty of these this color club. It introduced me to a new dyer. I get to play with 20 of her colors. It's perfect for scrappy projects. I'll I think I'll be doing socks. This base is a 80-20 sock yarn, 80 you guys, merino. Look at this. So Dion is in New Jersey. She's Evil Little Goat Yarns, and all of her color names are song lyrics, I want to say. Music lover. Yeah. So they're unbelievable. Oh my God, look at this. Look. Yeah, you know, just, I can see why Tracy, you immediately went and bought, look oh, at this one. This is us. The aqua with splashes of orange. There's one here. This one is Superstition. Hello, Stevie Wonder. What? Love, love, love. So this, look at this one. Foxy Lady. Gray with bright speckles. And they're ready to roll. Oh, yeah, they're ready to go. And No, you, you still have to wind them, right? Um, I think they're mini. Well, let's see. Yes, they're mini no, skate. They're mini. You can, you can absolutely. They're oh, yes, mini cakes. Can. They're mini cakes. They're mini cakes. She's done. So... I think the, that Laura's Color Club is amazing. And every, she seems to have a wonderful eye for dyers. And yes. it's really, and you can do this as an ongoing subscription. You can get three months if you want, or you can get one month. If you go to rowoneyarn.com, she's got a coupon code. If it's your first month, you get 20% oh, off, 10% off. There's a coupon code. Um, but it's amazing. And you get these the little bag. Like I said, it has a treat in it. Every month it's, you know, like this one, we get Sour Patch Kids, <laughs> yum, and a Progress Keeper. These are a very it's, fun subscription for a mini set. It's super duper well thought out. And you know what I'm gonna do with I mine? I originally thought, oh, what am I gonna do with minis? I don't do a lot. I've been wanting to do um, a crocheted granny stripe crochet version of a swatch for a bag oh so what i'm gonna do is hold these together double and do one small row because mm -hmm. i only need it this big right yeah. of every one of these and photograph it i think i'm gonna do some christmas ornaments like people are like yes. what do you do with all these minis well for sure scrappy socks are super cute pixel rise come to mind pixel rise yeah um you could do scrappy mittens there's a hundred grams of yarn in here it's a whole skein weight wise but just 20 colors. Okay, so, I'm going to do that. I mean, I really think that this is a super fun, and it's a fun gift. If you have a knitting BFF and you're like, what am I going to get her for Christmas or what am I going to get her for her birthday? Send her a month of, of a color club. Yeah. What a fun surprise. No, I agree. Thank you, Tracy. I love this a so, lot. So you're welcome. So Laura treated... Little gauzy bags. Laura treated us to Dove Chocolate with our order. So... You just made Thank my you. day. Like, honestly, it's chocolate with peanut butter in the middle. Um, so this will be a prize in one of our knit alongs. And Guess what I'm so doing exciting. today? What? Going to Japanese Village for lunch. You are? I've with never the girls? been. Yeah, it was on the list. I've never been there either. Yeah. A teppanyaki table. Yeah, I think so. You'll love it. I think so. You'll love it. Teriyaki, yum. <gasps> I know. So I know. So I love I love seeing the things that are in people's shops, right? I do too. That's so fun. Um, that was amazing. And yeah. one was I think this is in my package. Let me just look at my little notes. I have one more thing, and that's everything, which has been so much, you guys. Thank you so much. So that'll tell you all the yarn names. The this tells you who it is and all that stuff. Yeah. Do you need this? No. That was from. It's just those Laura yeah. telling me about it is twenty percent off for row one, you guys, for I your first so. time orders. It's Hello Twenty. Okay, it's, it's actually on code. her website too, yes. so don't worry about it. We'll put it on the screen, but it's also on yeah. rowoneyarn.com. And I just think if you're into mini skein projects like blankets and stuff, which I think everybody is, 
this is a really great kit yeah, to give a go. I agree. Um, and I also have a mother and daughter who sent us, this is called a single strand studio and it's really fun. So Carol's the mom yep. and I want to say it's Amber is the daughter. Carol makes project bags and she's got patterns on Ravelry. Oh, does she? Yes. So I'll link her as a designer in the show notes. Um, Carol makes project bags. Amber makes interchangeable needle cases. And they sent us three interchangeable needle cases. What? Okay. So this is the fabric, you guys. I mean, this is my... They're knit very nitty fabric choices. Do you remember? I have. I just had some of this in my shop for bags. I, it's the tattoo one, right? Yeah. So I'm going to open this one just to show what it's like. This is the chicken with like yarn balls and I stuff. think this the fabric is just a blast. It's got a cute little kind of faux leather tag that they stitch on yeah. up here. And she's using the, what are these called? D, a D, like, um, anyway. like a belt buckle almost. Yeah, so this, like you've got your interchangeable needles in here. It's definitely not going anywhere. Oh, look how well it's done. Look at this. Never, another fabric on the middle. Oh, somewhere to hang stitch markers. So this is for your cords and stitch markers and your needle tips, and it's got a little pouch. This is a very well thought out uh, kit that they've put together. So it's a single strand studio. Oh look, she's got a little stitch marker in there. This is beautiful. It is Thank beautiful. you for thinking of us, ladies. These are absolutely awesome. So they've got a beautiful Etsy shop and well they done. completely treated us. Yeah. Everything is beautiful. Oh my God. Great fabric choices. It is fun fabric choices. This fabric's done extremely well for me and I hope it does just as well for them. It's fun to find a knitting themed, I mean, this is, you know, a tattoo sort of idea knitting yeah. theme one. And this I love an, a nice streamlined needle case. I do too. The ones that come in tend to be super bulky. This is perfect for just throwing in your knitting bag. You have all your needles whenever you need to cast on. I agree. Emergency cast on. Because so, we always have those. Oh, yeah. And traveling, don't even get me started. So they're from New Hampshire, and they had, I guess this is a friend of theirs. I don't know. She surprised us by sending a new, this is a new dyer from New Hampshire. And she stuck this in. in oh, very sheepy. I know. It's beautiful, right? So, oh, it's so beautiful. So Lisa is flying fin yarns out in New Hampshire. This is a beautiful base that she's using. It is plump oh my god it is squishy it's an 80 20 it's 400 yards it's high twist and it's a beautifully speckled gray it's called pilot sock it's her granite state granite state colorway i'm totally <gasps> i'm totally guys, knitting with this. it's extremely beautiful yeah it's barely barely there hints little dips of color do it's you see that beautifully speckled just in the softest There's way. There's a teal and a, an orange and charcoal. But I love these charcoal speckles, yeah. Yeah, it's really, and it feels incredible. This would be beautiful for a garment. This oh, would make a beautiful gosh. sweater. This would make a beautiful springy sweater, wouldn't it? Yeah, gorgeous. Thank you so, so ladies much. from New Hampshire, thanks. New Hampshire in the house. Woo woo. New, 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 new. Megan scales based, high twist. Okay, Tracy just plunked this yarn in front of me, you guys. Okay, I have not seen it yet. These yarn dyers are amazing. This is a yarn I've never seen in person. I actually haven't heard of it. And she said, I just, I want to send you guys a birthday gift. And I love watching your podcast. You keep me company in the dye studio. And I really want to give you some yarn. And we were like, oh my gosh, you're so sweet. She said, pick whatever you want, whatever color. We're talking about Dragon Horde yarn. Who is Tristan? Who is half of the yarn, Girls in the Yarn Cafe podcast with her yeah. mom, Christy, yeah. who is Yarn Cafe Creations. So they're both yarn dyers. They're both yarn dyers. They're both... I don't know what their specific jobs are, but they are both kind of like, I don't know, counselors or whatever in the mental health world they both have a similar okay. life and they both die yarn amazingly well their podcast is super fun they're very it, chatty it is there's always that you know connection between relatives totally. mother and daughter whether it is well, they sisters. Look like sisters christy I, I hate you let's I just say that right now right off the bat 
Yeah. So yeah. there's that chemistry between mother and daughter that just works. They both design patterns that have been released this summer. And when I get off my butt and make my video, they will both be in there. I'm so sorry. So Tristan, it was really fun meeting her over messages. And she sent us, she goes, I'm not just sending you one skein. Cause like, what if you want to do a big project? So I'm sending you two skeins, pick a color. So I picked, it's called drop that beat. And Dude, it's, that's super fun. It's gray. And it reminds me of graffiti. Bright speckles. And she's kind of so right. I mean, now that I've got two skeins, I could do a giant shawl. Yeah. And it's just so fun. I feel like maybe something brioche now that I'm like I actually a feel like, person. Tracy, this once knit up would just be the most fabulous pop of color in your neutral wardrobe. Right? Yes. Okay, look at that. Look at that. Skeined up, you guys. That's going to be crazy beautiful and it's, it's a very high we chose her um high twist base yeah it's and a they beautiful do, base they're both doing like um advent clubs and halloween yarn and they're right on it they've yeah. got all kinds of stuff going you picked a different color what is i did i picked a uh, lightly muted Mo molly weasley it's I so just, pretty just these flecks throughout in in like teals and yellows there's a bit of pink in there that is really really isn't that gorgeous? really pretty yeah. but i do have to say i'm loving the high twist base i do too it's her dragon scales base and it's a 75 25 436 yards it's so nice mine's blowing out because it's quite creamy so but she's crazy she sent prizes for our podcast she sent gifts she sent prizes you guys that's so sweet so she sent that's more really this one's called witch hazel and this is her they call it fluffy sock oh my god that's perfect look at that isn't colors. that a good name <gasps> oh it's a very like a golden this yellowy base it's really it's very, pretty i look feel at this like gorgeous it's perfect plum. kind of autumn -y. i do too witch hazel so that's a prize for some and then she knitter. also sent one on a fluffy sock it's called don't leave the path isn't that pretty I just think these, you're right, they're so full. Look at they're that. They're very, there. I mean, their yarns are all speckled, and the colors can go from jewel tones to soft to brights wow. and all the things in between. So they are amazing, but this is going to be so pretty skeined up. It's gorgeous. And it's just so soft. You know how there. you pick yarn online, and sometimes it's better or worse yes. than when you see it, like when yes. you see it in person? Yeah. I mean, I just, you have I'm no idea that until you get it. is going to be incredible. Until you get it in your greedy little knitter hands, you just don't know. Come on. Drop that beat. What? So pretty. Well, I'm crazy about this. It's exactly what I remembered. Jody, it's so pretty. I could choose either. So she's re I mean, we this. could even, if you don't use two, two, we could trade back. Like, I'll give you one of mine. You could give me one of yours. But keep it till you decide what you want to do with it. Yeah, she's re-skeined uh, this. The speckles are so delicate. You guys, it is so pretty. And I'm not kidding you, this base, I prefer this base, this twist base to this fluffy base. This to me, I would put more in a shawl or a garment. Mm, it's super soft. I feel like this high twist was made for socks. And it's funny because yes, high twist for sure is better for yeah, socks. It's stronger. Yeah, absolutely. They're both a 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon. Yeah. They're just, spun differently but that fluffy sock base for a garment that you're gonna Cowl. wear any yeah and a shawl yeah so jody i just have mrs brown's bag it's been what do you mean just i'm so excited i can't wait to see all your new stuff this is new mrs brown's bags in the house oh yeah this God. is so pretty wowie wowzer so Gorgeous. I'm so excited to be able to send. We're sending so much of this out with our three knit alongs that are ending yeah. this week. So we'll get together in the next week or so and put together all these prizes. Yeah, we won't draw names till Monday, like yeah. I said, or, you know, somewhere next time next so week. So we're not podcasting next week. So we'll make time to put together prizes and get them out in the mail. It's beautiful. Stop it. Thank you. Anyway, well done. They're in Utah? Yes, I believe they are. Like... Yeah. Lucky ladies, they live in a beautiful place. Yeah. Is that it for us? Oh my god, I'm exhausted, so that must be it. Oh my gosh, you guys. So much good stuff. We're only at an hour and 30. This is considerably shorter. Tracy's thrilled. Mm. Thrilled, thrilled. I am. Because then it's more fun. Less, you know, I think. Don't you think? Yes. 
Okay, and so then we can get it uploaded things. sooner and then it's done. I mean, yeah. podcasts are super fun, but there's a certain amount of work involved too, right? So there is a certain amount of Joe work. Joe D, Mrs. Brown in the house. So I've had this knit up forever, but oh I God. felt like when it's it so when it was done in the spring, I felt like this has to be way to fall. Right? Well, I mean, there's timing of everything. I think so too. Right. Yeah. And as much as I wanted to explode with um, excitement and bring these bags out, I didn't. So this is a new one. It's Alicia Yarn Ink. It's called Blackened Rainbow. I think I have a stain of this. It's you so do. beautiful. Didn't you buy it at our fiber thing? I think I bought it at Knit City. Yeah. So this is my two to three skein size bag. It fits. I'm just going to give you guys an idea. I'm just going to put these two skeins in the bottom. It'll fit even two more. Like those big. It'll fit six skeins. That's a good one for your fade. So you're not. What, six fade? full skeins, but not working skeins, right? It's going to be pretty tight. I call this my two to three skein bag. It's just so you guys have don't an idea. Don't you love folding it down and using it? But That's why I don't need a yarn bowl. Look how much room there still is There's in there. There's tons of room. Jody, I love that the stitches are going the other way. Okay, so this bag, as usual, oh. my two to three skein size that I just showed you is business as usual. I love your, now, leather, your leather thing. For me, this is, um, I've gone up to the better quality cotton in my mind for my bags. So it's more expensive, it's American dollars. So I figured I was getting quite a bit of waste. Oh really? Yeah. That's true. Um, that eventually get turned into like scrappy bags or something, but I wanted to be able to maximize. Sure. So what I've done is I Joey. put this, do you see it's going this way? Uh, that's what I thought I saw. Yeah, yeah, it's beautiful. And I think it's really fun. I do too. Especially if people have been collecting your bags or enjoying your bags. Something different is always different. fun. I really like this. This I call a one to two. This is what I would call my two skein um, shawl bag. Right? Socks, Sock, hats, shawls, baby knits. Yeah. Just to give you guys an idea of, of what size they are. Look at those rich colors. Alicia. Yeah, black and rainbow, crazy gorgeous. Okay, so this, this, this is so pretty. This yarn, you guys, I have had, and I don't remember where I got it. It's some sort of hand spun that I bought. In a bulky? Yes. It's so pretty. So Kelly knit it on a bias. Mm -hmm. She got it and I said, always say to her, you know what? I don't care what you do to it. Here's the yarn, do whatever you want Lots with it. Lots of times yarn speaks to you. Like you know what you want to make with it. That's she, so pretty. She's so creative. She's an amazing, oh my God. I, I couldn't do this without Kelly. So love, so fun. Love, I call this twisted stitches. I mean, you one. could put, oh, it's so pretty. I love that it's different and I love garter stitch. I so I, love this. I knew you'd love this one. Well, stripes and gray, like chunky gray stripes. <laughs> that's so. Oh, Isn't that fun? Yeah, that's beautiful. So this is the two to three skein size. Jackson, we're podcasting. Hi, bud. And then this one is the one to two. Love sideways. Love, right? love, 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 love. So I'll just move. Okay, so this. Okay, that's beautiful. What is that? This is sisters, <gasps> tightly knit. So I had two skeins of this from Nicole. Um, and so Kelly did a gradient where it was solid and then she introduced some of the other a ones fade. sort of. Yeah. So this is the two to three skein size. This so, is Hue Loco yarn. So these were the tightly knit. So tell everybody what it is. Tightly knit sister set. So little sister is the aqua with speckles and big sister yeah. is cream with gray and pink. Yeah. Speckles. And Nicole had dyed me one of each of the, of the brighter colors in the sets. It mixed so beautifully. Yeah. So beautiful. Oh and God. I actually like it sideways better. I just because you're getting more of, you're getting an right. equal, equal amount right. of both. Oh my God, it's so pretty. How gorgeous it's is that? It's so pretty. I love the pink zipper you put with it. I'm making a sock sack for you in this. You want <gasps> a sock sack. Okay, I so that's it. that Thank in the you. shop. This is called Neon Graffiti, oh which God, is I just so fun. You Who guys, is that? I believe it's Lin Yanni, but I would have to look it Lin up a. again. Yes. Is it right? I Yes. I think. Okay. But well, please forgive me if it's not right. Um, so Lene Yarns, maybe? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. And then again, we'll sideways. figure it out. Leave a comment below if you know for sure, because... Okay, you guys. This is another yarn. This yarning. should be my sweater. I'm asking for a sweater quantity in this, in Worsted. 
we should each get. Yeah, times two. Done. Done. 16 oh skeins. <laughs> no, you only took six for your worsted. I'm, I dipped into the seven. I have. Oh, you did. Just. I was gonna say I'm a. I'm a. I need an extra skein girl anyway, just for mental I am too. health. I just need Jody. You guys, this is called ochre. Ridiculous. So, um, I will not have peach being this color when I send out the bags. I didn't love, I put the peach in and didn't love it. I, I mean, it picks up a little bit on the orange. It will be a gray. I, I just think it needs to be gray, like the zipper. Don't yeah. you think? Gray or black. Yeah. Yeah. Either way. I mean, I don't hate the peach, but I see what you, you guys, mean. It's gray, dove gray, cream, charcoal speckles, burnt orange speckles, all in a lovely... Um, I just feel like this is so fall, and I've had this too forever. Well, and needed to be fall. Do you think this is? Yeah, we totally need to order this. Do you think this is what? Is this like placing our order right now? Do you think she'll see this? Yeah, we need sixteen skeins. <laughs> Actually, fourteen. Seven's enough. Don't you think? I I sure. No six. Six seven is. I good. don't know Eight's what I'm knitting yet. Eight then eight, and I then again, this is running the other so way. Beautiful. And then this Okay, so here's my problem. What? I fall in love with bags, Jody, and I, I buy them in your shop and you refund me. Let me I be know. a damn customer. No, never. Well, then I'm never going to get another bag because... Just tell me which one you want. This is not huge. so difficult. That's you remember? so beautiful. At the same time, I had what gotten those three one? different colorways. So I don't pretty. remember. I'm calling... Maddie named it Wildberry because she thought strawberry, blueberry, blackberry... We have to find out from Nicole what she calls it. It's freaking fabulous. Like, yeah, let's just I call just it thought that. it was so fun for this time of year. Jody, and again, I've done it is so sideways. Purple. So pretty. This is a Malabrigo one. I don't usually use a lot of commercial yarn. I couldn't leave the shop That's without this. That's so pretty. And I actually only got, I got five yards of everything, except I only got two yards of this because I didn't think it would come back as nice as it did it's really crisp um photography but don't you think? look at the colors that's the white is blowing out a touch this i called lavender field it's like a very vanilla creamy cream in real life like How it's gorgeous is that? and there's it's almost like a gradient of purples in there like there's a several shades well i'm just crazy about that's this. so beautiful this is not like we go so the shop is stocked great so yeah Good for you. So that was it. Yeah, so lots of sewing this week. Jord. And week oh to God. come. You've been crazy lady. How fun to put all those I colors know. together. And it is so fun. And, I mean, Kelly knit the majority of these. I love how different they all are. You know, we've got the bias and the yeah. big stripes and the big stitches and speckles. Yeah. And it's really, really, really beautiful. Well, I have about 65 samples now. So many. And so when you get to that amount, you have to be thoughtful with the ones you add. Absolutely. You want them to be different. Yeah. Um, so that's really fun. Kelly has knit me a Pixel Rise swatch that's coming ASAP. Oh my God, I love You know what she's Rise. also done? She's knit or crocheted me granny squares. That's going to be really good. And put them together. So I'm going to have a granny square swatch. That's going to be awesome. So there's fun stuff coming. Um... You could even do like a vote. You could have like post some, yeah. you know, before you order a fabric. If you're not sure at one point what to bring back, you could put up some pictures on Instagram. What do you guys want to see? And say, yeah. Yeah. But because when you get to 65, sometimes it's hard to know. But I love them. I do like certain ones stick out in my mind, but everybody's got their favorites. I know. They're and, all beautiful. Um, I have both sizes in this Knitting Mermaid. I'm calling it Knitting Mermaid. In that this is... In this pattern. I and have both sizes in that. It's got really cute sayings on it, like knit fast, die warm, knit wit, born to knit. I just thought it was fun. It's it's a really cool yeah. knitting fabric. So that's it for me, Trace. Jody. I feel what a like great week. It's been two weeks, but there's been a lot of knitty things to talk about. We're having so much fun knitting our sweaters. I don't um, know. I am we'll glad. have finished sweaters next time. Totally. Do you think I should knit full sleeves? No, uh no, I don't. But what if I knit the Gigi? I think you need to knit, well, you can knit Gigi full length. You can do whatever you want. I mean, it's always up to you. It's whatever you feel like. I love elbow length and I love three quarter. Like I'm always pushing my sleeves up. Yeah. So 
And it just depends on how you see yourself wearing it. If you think you're going to well, wear it I see it like this and I think it's so cute. But then it I is think super cute. six months of our cold winter yeah. that I might do a short long sleeve. But anyway. if you're always wearing a long sleeve t-shirt underneath it, then. But I really love a three quarter. So halfway down your forearm. Yeah, you're right. I'm just I like loving that. the length I stopped at. Joey, right it looks so anyway. good. It's beautiful. Um, happy knitting, everybody. Happy knitting. We happy see September. You in two weeks. Happy Cast on your school. September socks. And maybe we're going to get this Tin Can Knits thing happening. Yes. So watch for it. Pick some amazing patterns. There's, It's like so hard to pick because Actually, there's so many I amazing ones. Actually, I was just at the Tin Can Knits uh, Ravelry page yesterday. Were you? I was. Yeah, looking for patterns. Beautiful sweaters. Uh, I started a baby sweater. I think he's outgrown it, and I haven't even finished the sweater yet, so I've got to cast on something else. Really? Yeah. <laughs> and, of course, I'm leaning towards the Gramps by Tin Can Knit. So there's my one of my knit-along things right there. I'd like it's a Gramps for myself. So nice. Yeah. It's going to be hard to choose. I could do a Gramps in my yarn ink. Oh, <gasps> Tracy. Yeah. Yes, you should. Yeah. Anyway. Buying more yarn, just what I need. Happy knitting, happy knitting.